Let's move on to the tear trough. I place my entry point laterally and advance through the lateral sooth with my cannula in contact with bone to reach the tear trough. I prefer this access point rather than placement in line with the nasojugal groove because I don't want to risk injury to the facial vein. I'm using a 25 gauge cannula here which we know can very easily end up in side vessels so for me checking the location of my cannula once I've advanced it is crucial. Now I use the L20 to find my cannula. I keep my cannula still and move the machine to find it. There it is, it's close to bone. Okay, let's switch to Doppler mode, angle and move my color box to the right position. That pulsating vessel there is likely to be the infraorbital artery and I can see at the end of my cannula there's no vascular structures so I can go ahead and place some product here. And I'm placing just a little product, 0.1, 0.2ml by retrograde injection. I'm pleased with that correction and I can now move more to the lateral part, the Lichit junction. I advance my cannula in contact with the bone and I place my finger inside the orbit to protect it. I go ahead and I check my position and I can see I'm under the muscle, in contact with the bone and not close to any vessels. There's a great paper by Bernardini published in 2021 which outlines this exact technique using ultrasound so check that out. Because of the direction of my cannula, I protect the orbit and place a little product here. And now we're done. I've finished both sides now and I can go ahead and take a look at the filler in the tissue with the clarius. Here we can see an anechoic round deposit with a posterior acoustic enhancement. That's my filler and it's where I intended it to go, right next to the bone, and it's great to be able to show this to my patient after treatment. Here's the completed treatment of both sides. There's a significant improvement of the cheek contour, which gives that nice feminine shape, and the tear trough is less concave and blends well with the cheek below.